Hi guys, I recently bought a Samsung uh, SSD for my PlayStation, which is over there. Sorry about the, the mess I've got in my house. Uh, that's when you have kids, you, there's always a mess. Anyways, I got this just today. I bought this uh, from Samsung directly. Um, if you if you are working for an organization that uh, you get partnership, do uh, make sure you, you use that because there's really good discounts. Um, I bought this for three hundred and thirty uh, dollar Australian, and uh, I had to get also a heatsink. After a bit of research, uh, I did some research uh, to what heatsinks. Uh, is good for this um, and obviously there's many that do make sure you read the uh, specifications on the Sony website um, I actually don't know how this pans out with this one but uh, I believe it should work um, so um, let's give it a shot um, I'm gonna um, you know uh, show you how I'm doing it so uh, you get to see how to do it um, if you are not sure. It's uh, also my first time. Before I start, <clears throat> I just want to um, note a few things here. This is the SSD, M.2 SSD. Um, and this is the um, heatsink. I've just opened it up to show you. Um, I did notice one thing that uh, this particular heatsink uh, it came with this uh, screwdriver. I found it to be quite tough uh, opening the uh, screws, so I bought my own. I recommend you use something um, something better to to unscrew them. It's just easier. Um, uh, just make make sure you don't damage the, the screws, um, you know, because you can easily um, easily um, mess up the screw. So um, yeah, just be careful. Um, and it comes with two thermal pads, as you can see. I didn't have to buy them. If you buy this particular one, it comes with this two. You can buy it off um, Amazon. That's why I buy a boy for twenty twenty two dollars. $300. I, I, um, I think it's good. I, I read a lot of reviews as I mentioned. Um, and just just make sure you um, can easily see um, see the logo. You can see uh, how it should be. Um, so you know you, this, this goes here. Now I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this uh, video and I'm going to install this basically um, lift peel this off and then stick it on the very bottom of this um, heatsink um, and then I'm going to stick also one another thermal uh, pad on the SSD itself where you see this um, uh, label the actual um, um, chips are here as you can see under the label so this goes on top of this um, yeah I'll do that and um, I'll resume uh, the recording be right back guys okay guys I um, screwed it in what I can tell you is that the thermal pads, just make sure that uh, you peel both of them have um, on both sides. Make sure you peel them off. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, as you can see, that's how um, I uh, assembled it. Just make sure there's enough gap at the back here because you'd want to screw it in. Um, Depending on where you're installing this, I'm going to install this in a PlayStation. Hopefully, this is enough. 
If not, I can unscrew this. Um, make sure when also when you screw these things, I always recommend you don't just do this uh, two first. You do one here, then one here, you know, uh, uh, just to, so that it supports it. Then, then you screw the other two in the other, um, uh, just like you did you doing this one and then this one just do the other one too the other two um, and it should be all, all all good to go so yeah this is the uh, <coughs> as I mentioned the uh, Samsung 990 Pro uh, PCIe 4 version 4 of NVMe M2 uh, M.2 SSD uh, in this EZ um, EZ DIY FAB you can just look it up on uh, Amazon depending where you're from you should um, they, they do have different colors um, I've seen a red one and a black one as well I um, I got a silver one now I'm just thinking uh, that uh, you know if you get in black, black absorbs uh, heat. There shouldn't be much difference, anyways. But uh, I thought the silver one would be the less, the less of uh, of heat. Um, I went for silver, but you know I don't really think there's any uh, anything in regards to that. Like uh, I haven't made tests to check that. I'm just from a logical perspective. I went for the lighter. Uh, lightest in color. Um, I'm gonna assemble that in the uh, PlayStation. Um, I'm just gonna pause and uh, resume when I open the PlayStation and uh, install that. So just bear, bear with me. Okay, guys, I've opened the PlayStation. Pretty easy to open. Uh, you basically just, uh, as you can see, this is the where this, the disc is, it was like this, and you have to basically pull it out um, from here. You can just easily pull it out. Um, it comes out pretty easily. Uh, don't use a lot of force. You can easily find also clips on YouTube and follow it, but it's pretty, pretty simple to open it. I've already um, opened this, as you can see, and uh, installed it, but couldn't uh, hold my phone as well and uh, do it but I want to just show you some very important points here when you unscrew this um, make sure you also take the uh, washer that you find here and place it to, depending on the size if it's a 2280 type it should be here just put it first in there then uh, push in your, uh, your SSD um, and be careful don't uh, don't damage it uh, just slide it uh, <coughs> gently and uh, install the screw they, they, this comes out from story here and uh, let's see if this actually closes oh, okay it does close, but it's very um, it's very snug. So um, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically what you do. It should be good, I think. Let's see if I can actually screw this in. I think it's good. It's it's snug. So <clears throat> yeah, there you go. I'm gonna uh, fire it up and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. We fired the, the PlayStation. It's connected to uh, sound bus. I'm just uh, waiting for it to come up. So um, as you can see, this came up, so it's asking me to format it. Now um, 
you don't really I don't think you need to worry I've got a secondary um, SSD here a T5 Samsung a T5 which I use for just I uh, use I put all the PS4 games primarily <clears throat> obviously you can't play PS5 games on it as you know or some of the those of you that may not know you can you can store um, PS4 games you can play them but you can, you're not able to play PS5 games it will just not let you design this way probably because of the bus speed that you get with USB there's a requirement that Sony made on the PS uh, PS5 so um, let's format this and see what happens should be good Press button to use the controller. I already pressed it. Just pressed X to format it. So it's formatting it to um, its format so it can understand. As you can see, uh, this is the read speed it actually now sees. Uh, okay. It's showing this read speed. Interesting. It does have a higher read speed, but probably that's the maximum that Sony uh, PS5 is able to uh, to go for. I think it's six, uh, if I'm not mistaken, not sure, but I haven't really checked. Probably 6,900, but obviously there's um, overheads or other layers in, in place, which obviously pu push it down. I think a uh, max speed on the um, 990 Pro <clears throat> by theory is uh, 7450 megabytes per second but uh, the PlayStation can handle off my top of my head 6900 uh, megabytes per second so um, obviously this is uh, there's other other um, other layers in, in place which uh, you know uh, take overheads in the PlayStation itself and that's why probably it's uh, uh, PlayStation can handle 6,900 and another for 400 goes to those um, those kind of layers uh, in place. There's a lot of other things in the PlayStation that would um, make it go down by practical uh, speeds. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is um, how it runs. So as you can see, um, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it, hope it helped you.